Hey guys, so in this video, I, uh, I'm going to talk about insulating this trailer. It's a 16 foot by 8 foot trailer I just bought. Um, it's over 7 feet high and I got it used. It's um, a 2013 cargo mate trailer. I paid 5,500 bucks for it. It's in really good shape. Uh, there's some dings and scratches on the outside, but that's pretty normal for for a trailer, especially a new one. You just take it off a lot and it gets banged up right away. But um, I thought it'd be better just to buy a used one than spending 11, 12 grand on a new one. I'm going to be using um, just a spray foam froth pack from Lowe's. They're pretty good. I don't use them really for houses just because they don't cover well enough. But for this, I'm just gonna spray up all my walls and my ceiling. And uh, I'm probably not going to do the floor. I'm gonna put another layer of plywood on the floor to just protect the, the main substrate here. It seems to work. That's what I do with all my trailers. But um, yeah, as you can see, I've already stripped it all. That's just paint flex. It's, those aren't actually holes, they're just paint flex. So I'm all done spraying here. Turned out pretty good, first time doing it. Um, maybe a couple low spots, but I will fill them and trim off any high spots. But otherwise, pretty happy with how quick it went and just the overall feeling of rigidity in the, in the trailer, like push on the walls and it's, it's just a lot more solid, kind of holds it all together a little better. Because I'm sure if you have a, cargo trailer you know they're not built very well overall pretty happy
So spray foam, the froth pack. I bought the uh, 600 system at Lowe's. Contractor price, and I get 15% off. So it was like 700 bucks for this. I think I still have quite a bit left. Um, yeah, maybe a, maybe a quarter tank left. Um, yeah, now I've got a little extra one from an old job. Overall, pretty stoked, and we'll see you on the next bit.